Well, look, today I was bored, so I, just, so I decided, you know what, we're going to build uh, the Lego horse transporter. Um, okay, so time to take off the tape. Okay, I think, I think this tape is good. Here's my nail. A horse, except it's not a horse yet. <laughs> That's my best horse making horse noise I can make. Okay, time to choose. Okay, I'm gonna choose. This one first. Gosh, the instruction manual's bent. Okay, here's our horseback rider. He's gonna be riding this thing. Okay. <clears throat> Gosh, how bendy is this thing? this thing is. Okay. Got like the ride piece. Uh, where's the flat brown piece? Oh, that's in this bag with the uh, battleship looking pins. Nay. It's eating grass. Okay, now... Wait. Wait, hold on. 
Okay, we already spent five minutes building just the horse. Yeah. Gosh darn it. No, no, we'll just, we're not putting the horse back rider together. We're just going, okay. First we need this green base plate thing. Okay. We need tan bricks. Bar pieces. Mm -hmm. And then we put must put those tan bricks up again, like that. another one of those bar pieces again. And then we need these tan gold-like pieces. Now we put it like that. Oh, now I know what the battleship pegs are for. They're supposed to be like bars so like the horse can jump over them. Okay.
Okay, so you're supposed to do right. Okay, I think There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Piece. Um, but this piece will be okay. Yep. Do these blue dots. Okay, build it like so, like that. Now we need to connect this little Ice plate thing. Okay, now you need to um, wait, 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 wait. Put that other axle connecting piece. What the heck? Where did I put that? Where the heck? What the heck? I'm confused. Oh, there it is. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. And we just build it like that.
Need wool. And now you need to connect to this flat base plate like that. And I'm just gonna save you uh, from watching me build tires, so I'm just gonna do it right now. Like that. Now we need to do all this. Like that. Um. corner pieces like that
like that, like that. Okay. Okay. Off there we go. Just a hair. Okay, put those um, slopey pieces on. Okay, we need these plate tile pieces in. Oh, time to put on some stickers, which I suck at doing. There we go. Same for the other one. Oh gosh. I just feel like I'm gonna mess up. Okay. Now we must put these plate pieces on the outside where the logo is facing is facing you. Okay, now we need this arch piece, which we actually need four of. So, yeah. One, two, three, four, like that. Now I need Ah shoot Ah Darn it This sucks I just hate it when this happens when, when, like, you're just building a set, and then guess what? It just falls to pieces. Oh, gosh. I just, I just hate, I just hate when that happens. It's just, it's just the worst feeling ever. Especially if it's, like, a set you've been working on for, like, days now. Like, let's say, like, the Lego, like, the big, like, the big, big Lego Millennium Falcon. Not that tiny one, no. Like, the huge one that every collector dreams of building. And then, like, you just press a little hard. And then it just shatters to pieces. Then... That is what I call not good. More than not good. Mm. Okay, now we need this little window piece and this little garage door piece. You're just supposed to like, I don't know, pop it on I think and then I think there's like and then there's like two of them I do want to know the all the the worser feeling when you're building Lego 
when you're like when you're like showing your viewers that about your Lego set, and then and then someone just accidentally knocks it out of your hands and it falls to the ground and shatters. Yeah, that's also the worst feeling ever. Basically, I think I'm just going to be talking about not good Lego feelings. <laughs> okay. This one. Darn it. Now I'm going to have to rebuild the garage door. There we go. Okay. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay, now you just attach the garage door pieces like that. Then you must get all four of those of the leftover arch pieces. I think we're just gonna throw those out. Nope. We are putting them to use. Okay, now we must put whatever this thing is right to the front. And two of these pieces. Okay. Now I guess they want, oh, nope, there's more. Just uh, put these pieces down. Horsey boy into the trailer. Back it up. Bye bye, horsey boy. The next day, I guess they want us to put on the tires. And if they don't, I guess we'll already be ready. Close it, and then put, and then put the, the tires on. Yep, just like what they wanted us to do. But nope, horsey boy's head is sticking out, which means he can try to knock down the like. Knock down like the um. Knock down like the door and then escape. Trust me, you do not want that to happen. Because then the horse might come lunch for us, for, for a family of like, I don't know. What animals he eat horses? I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to say like bears. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. There's the last tire. Okay, horsey boys, trailer is done, and we're just going to put these pieces over there, and now, I'm done, bend the instruction manual, oh yeah, put all the stuff you've built, put all the extra pieces in, okay, yeah. Okay, time to 
open up bag number one. I committed something illegal in Lego building number two before building number one. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to put our big darn wheels in. What, like, what kind of regular vehicle has vehicles that has wheels that big? Okay, I'm gonna go uh, build uh, the main figure now. Which the head and all the stuff. Ruff, ruff. Maybe, um, think of a good name for this dog in the comments down below. Yellow. Okay. Think of a good name for the dog in the comments below. I think Doug. D U G. Doug. But if you think of a better name in the comments, tell me. Because I will name him in the next, in an upcoming video. Anyways. Right here. Okay, put all the put all horsey boys items into the crate. Okay. Done with horsey boys necessities. That. Okay, that. Then we need this weird axle piece. Along with a red grill. Oh, horsey boys item spilled. I just named the horse horsey boy. And once the Jeep is all built, we're gonna just put the um Sometimes I can be silly. Silly. Silly me. Okay, now we need these. Um...
Also, if you have a better name suggestion for the horse as well, make sure to tell me because I will think, because I will, because I will show you to it. But I will show you uh, viewers it, the boys and girls, and, and whatever genders you you identify yourselves as. Like a helicopter, or like, I don't know, like a pop card or something.
Okay. This one. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to need a license plate. And I suck at putting on stickers. Hopefully we do good. And... This is what I did. Hopefully I did good. That in the middle of the Darn it. Oh, there it is. Have you ever heard of Lego Scala? Yeah, probably not. They were released in times where I was not born. Like, they were made in, like, 90s. And basically, they were, like, collectible Lego sets for girls. And, and one of them came with a giant horse. Okay? And Lego Scala sets were not used with the Lego pieces like like we know of today. Instead, they had this huge, these huge, giant plastic molds. 
Yeah, these excessively bulky giant molds. Yeah. And and there is like one with like a with like a giant horse. Okay, a giant horse, I mean. When I say it's giant, I mean giant giant. Yeah, just very big. Okay, I was just making sure I was following the steps correctly. Turns out I am. Now we need to put on the, the, the giant tires. <laughs> Time to attach the horsey boy. Beep, beep, beep. Or 
aussi. Ok. Yep.